So the topic of today's sermon is how to know. How do you know if you're practicing Buddhism correctly? A lot of people are Buddhists, and there's a lot of Buddhist concepts out there, such as metta, compassion, or banya, wisdom, sila, the precepts, or even compassion and forgiveness, and loving each other, and renunciation. There's a whole bunch of concepts out there, and it's important for us to know whether or not we're doing it right. Well, how do we judge? Well, there's a very simple metric or a very simple tool that we can use, is your ego. If you practice Buddhism and your ego gets bigger, you become more confident in yourself in a bad way, you look down upon other people, or you're attached to your ego, then you're not practicing the way the Buddha taught. But if you're practicing and you become more humble, you release attachment to your ego, or you become more understanding of who you are, then you're practicing in the right way. For example, if you go around feeling compassion for other people, but looking down on them, thinking that they're not as lucky as you, thinking that you're better than them, thinking that you're luckier than them, and feeling like looking at them makes you feel better about your own life, then you're not practicing Buddhism correctly. If you feel like you go around forgiving people for what they did, because you're not wrong, but they're always wrong. Everything they do is wrong, so you get mad, but you forgive them. But at the same time, you don't change anything about what you do. You don't change anything about how you feel or what you say or what you do. This is not the right way to practice Buddhism. The same thing, when you take the precepts and you try not to kill, you try not to steal, you try not to commit adultery, but instead of doing it for yourself, you do it to show other people that you're better than them. That I am a good person, not like you, or you go around teaching other people that you're not a good person, you're not a good person, judging other people, then you're not practicing it right. The practice of Buddhism is not to show off to other people, not to make us better than other people, but to make us better people for ourselves. When you feel compassion, you feel compassion because you feel that we are no different. You make mistakes. I make mistakes. You do things wrong. I do things wrong. We're not different. That's how we feel compassion for other people. We forgive other people. Why? Because we understand the mistakes that they do, I do also. The mistakes that they have just done, I just did also. I'm no different than you. Whatever you do, I also do. Because we're both human beings who are flawed. Therefore, I forgive you because I would like for people to forgive me. I am still learning. You are still learning. We're no different. Whenever your ego compared to other people are the same or lower, you're practicing correctly. But whenever you compare to other people and you're better, then obviously you're not practicing to the proper benefit. There was once a question asked to the Buddha by his stepmom, the woman who raised him. She said, after you are not here anymore, how will we know what is right Buddhism, what is wrong Buddhism, what is correct and what is not correct? He said, very simple. Any teaching that leads to lower ego, lower attachment, not doing evil, these are always going to be Buddhist teachings. But any teachings that lead to higher ego, hurting other people, or more attachment, more delusion, more anger, more greed, these teachings will never be a part of true Buddhism. So for us, as we go through life practicing Buddhism, trying to be better people, remember, you have to know the metric of don't increase your ego. You're supposed to decrease it. That's the whole point of Buddhism.